Hello, it's Pastor Dave from the Sebago Church of the Nazarene. It's Holy Week, the week leading up to Easter, the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we go through this week preparing our hearts for worship on Sunday, I thought I'd share with you a scripture reading each evening and perhaps a couple of thoughts about how it applies to our life. Tonight's scripture reading is found in uh, the book, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, beginning with verse 39. Jesus left and made his way to the Mount of Olives, as was his custom, and the disciples followed him. When he arrived, he said to them, Pray that you won't give in to temptation. He withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed. He said, Father, if it's your will, take this cup of suffering away from me. However, not my will, but your will must be done. Then a heavenly angel appeared to him and strengthened him. He was in anguish and prayed even more earnestly. His sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. And when he got up from praying, he went to his disciples. He found them asleep, overcome by grief. And he said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray so that you won't give in to temptation. That night, Jesus made time to pray. This, this time of prayer takes place in between uh, what we would call the Last Supper and when the uh, religious leaders and soldiers showed up to arrest him. So that night, Jesus, he made time to to get away and pray and he warned his disciples to do the same he told them pray that you won't give in to temptation now as i look at jesus prayer there's there's three things that really stick out to me first of all jesus asked the father for help take this cup from me he said and then jesus offered the father his full surrender however your will be done and when he did these two things, he found strength from above, as in this case, an angel came and gave him strength. Now, we believe Jesus was fully God and fully man. And as he thought about what lay before him, uh, what lay before him in the next few hours, Jesus' anguish was real, but his father was greater. And he warned his friends again, get up and pray. Good advice. This weekend we celebrate Easter. We celebrate it with joy because Jesus is risen. But this week we also commemorate the sacrifice of our Lord. Let's follow his command to pray. I don't know what difficulties this week will bring you. I don't know what difficulties this week will bring me. But I know right now, tonight, Let's pray and ask the Lord for his help. Let's send, surrender our lives fully to his will and allow God to give us strength. God bless you and enjoy your evening.